What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist, and today we're back with more 40 facts on the Warhammer 40k universe. Today we are diving in to the chaotic versions of the Adeptus Mechanicus, the Dark Mechanicus, or the Dark Mechanicum, if you're leaning a little bit more towards Slanesh. But anyway, what these guys are is they're a sect of traitorous tech priests and members of the Collegia Titanica who willingly pledge themselves to Horus and the Chaos Gods during the Horus Heresy, and now, since then, they've just been corrupted and fueled by Chaos. Now, as we all know, the Horus Heresy didn't turn out so well for Chaos. They were actually defeated. Horus, the champion of the Chaos Gods, was slain by the Emperor, and they were basically forced to go into hiding into the far corners of the galaxy, or basically retreat into the chaotic Eye of Terror. And over these centuries, the ranks of the Dark Mechanicum have been swelling thanks to many heretics who chose to follow the foul path of forbidden tech heresy. So now that they're in exile, the Dark Mechanicus became even more enthralled to the powers of warp and heretical technologies, and because of this, Basically anything that the Mechanicus of Mars has created, they too have created, but with a more dark twist. And today we're going to be focusing on a Warhammer Community article that focuses on a very interesting take to the Dark Mechanicus and the Renegade Knights. So the images you see here are actually from a very awesome hobbyist by the name of Thomas Fordow. Um, if you want to learn more about it and you want to get more epically intertwined into his army, I'm going to leave the link to the Warhammer community page down in the description below so you guys can get a better take at what he has to offer and basically what's going on with his minis. So like I said, the Dark Mechanicus has been corrupted by chaos and because of this, it offers almost unlimited amount of conversion work towards the hobby for the models because as we all know the dark mechanicus don't really have too many models in their range to create a full-fledged army pretty much you gotta grab a unit you like grab some green stuff and just go to town and that's exactly what thomas did with his renegade knights so because of this let's check out his awesome chaotic work so as we can see here his army has a very nurgle-esque feel to it um, you can see the dark greens and the pestilence on some of his knights, and that's exactly what happened. He goes to say that his knight houses eventually swore their allegiance to the Death Guard before the heresy, and once the legion fell, their oath to the Death Guard became stronger than their loyalty to the Emperor. And basically, this is where his army began to take root. Just like Nurgle's pestilence spread, so did the chaotic taint to his army. As you can see here into the mechanical aspects of his models, a lot of it seems kind of weathered and decaying, but at the same time they still hold up their robotic resilience. Like looking at it, it doesn't look like it's going to fall apart, but you can still see that like disease and chaotic rot has begun to take hold on these machinations of chaos, and it looks really great. The whole combination of white and green and like rust on the edges just makes these models pop. On the armagers that you see here, um, it's very aesthetically pleasing, especially with the skull they have for their um, headpiece. Really, really awesome. Again, guys, if you want to know how exactly he got the color scheme and the ideas for it, link to the article is down below, and um, it's pretty interesting stuff. But moving on, um, he's got the troops, or the Skitari for that matter, in this image that you see here. Um, as you can see, these guys aren't as nerdily possessed as the actual um, robotic forces of his army. They still look pretty much like Skitari. And the way he chose to designate their turn to chaos was the more darker schemes and the highlights of red. As he goes to say, everybody knows that glowing red eyes means it's evil. And he's pretty correct, especially when you see this next conversion right here. This is basically a fusion of Necron and Skitari. 
Um, it's really awesome. Um, the way just the red pops, like he was saying, he uses the highlights to really make the glow of lights just kind of make the whole model come together, almost like a focal point, if you will. Um, this is really annoying because me myself, I'm not a good painter or modeler for that mod matter, and to see somebody just do this impeccable work of art is like, damn, I wish I was that good. But anyway, let's continue on. When it comes to the lineup of the Skitari models, there is one model that really stands out besides the Dune Crawler, and that is the Sidonian Dragoons. These guys are like a baby from the walkers from Star Wars and like the steampunkness of the Skitari, and they just look amazing. However, when it comes to Thomas's army, he wanted them to look more evil. So, he got some Night Haunts from the Warhammer Age of Sigmar line, and he used them as the riders. So they look even more sinister with their flowing capes, and they still got the glowing red and yellow in the weaponry, which just makes it pop even more. So because of this, um, it just looks really, really sinister. And speaking of sinister, if you look closely, you could actually see that the Dragoons have animal skulls as their heads, which just drive the point that the Mechanicus is just so crazy with converting anything to robotics and chaos that, hey, a dead animal skull? Why not? So yeah, with that being said, this is just a little inkling into the epicness that is Dark Mechanicum. Big props to Thomas and his awesome Nurgle slash Guitari Dark Mechanicus army that just looks incredible. Um, and that just goes to show you that the Dark Mechanicus is just so vast. When it comes to chaos, most people just think, hey, you've got the four chaos gods and you've got chaos undivided and that's it. And they're really ignoring a huge, huge part of the lore because the Dark Mechanicus is a whole nother chapter that just spans countless amounts of lore and history behind it. You have like chaos infected, like Imperial. You have the chaos counter to what the Loyalists have, such as like chaos dreadnoughts, chaos titans, chaos space marines, that kind of thing, chaos Guitari stuff. But then you dive into a whole another aspect that I feel GW needs to put out more and kind of make it more of a well-known thing. Because when you talk about the Dark Mechanicus, you think, oh yeah, chaos Guitari, and that's it. But no, there is so much to it. You have demon forges, chaos forges, hell forges. There's just so much about it that gets left out. Like for example, there's so many intricate weapons of dark technology that just go unknown. The rituals of the Dark Mechanicus, it, there's just so much that has been kind of forgotten or at least pushed to the side when it comes to the Dark Mechanicus. You've got dark technology that literally spans before the Horus Heresy. So there's just so much to explore with this new, well I wouldn't even say new, with this aspect of chaos. And I feel like GW really needs to put out like a chaos um, mechanicus codex to kind of introduce people to this side of chaos that I feel is very much so just pushed off to the side. Um, heretics are really cool and it needs to get explored a little bit more. Um, but yeah, with that being said, guys, if you have your own Dark Mechanicus army that you want to showcase, send us, send us some images, or some lore for that matter, and we'll make it into a 40 facts video on your own army. Um, send it over to the Facebook page. And with that being said, that's all I've got for you today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more things 40k coming your way each and every day. Um, don't forget that we will be putting out giveaways pretty soon since we just reached 140,000 subscribers. It's crazy, but it's there and it's all thanks to you guys, the viewer. So again, I'm the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.